Yo, what's good boys? Welcome to the video. I hope you guys are having a good day. In this one, we are going to be making a beat for Potter Paper. Potter Paper? Yeah, I've always fucked with him. And uh, he's just released a project. Yeah, I really like it. So we're going to be making a beat like that. Um, some UK kind of rap trap type stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And uh, let's get straight into this. I got this sample here. Now, it's not often that I do start with a sample. So it's going to be interesting for sure you guys don't really see sampling too much on this channel these days we kind of make a lot of the melodies ourselves but anyway i've got this ellie golding sample it's from starry eyed very big song obviously you would have likely heard it and uh basically all i've done is i got it changed the tempo to 97 i exported it out with unmixed drums on it so there's no drums in it and i got this kind of section here and i kind of pitched it up a little bit and done some various to it basically but yeah and i've chopped it up into fruity slicer as you can see here changed the key a bit i've done a few little bits nothing too crazy off camera just to make sure that this is the right sample to use and uh, yeah i've got this short little progression we're going to finish off and then uh yeah keep going with this beat so let's play this oh There ain't much left to do to that other than find out what key it's in. F minor. Okay. We'll export it out as a WAV. And then if there's anything wrong with it, we can just come back to it and uh, fix it, change it, etc. First thing I'm going to do is reverb it. So it's currently at F minor, supposedly. Uh, whether it is or not, we'll find out shortly when we try and make a melody around it. I want to do some piano chords, kind of give it an emotional sound. Uh, oh, oh. So for the piano, I'm going to be using Piano V2 from uh, Arturia, I believe. I like that. What we're going to do is we're going to dump the score log of that. Oh, I like that. We take that as a nice little melody. I'm gonna put this in a filter. The vocal's coming through a little bit too much, I think. Kind of what's putting me off. We'll do a love filter and we'll do low pass, maybe. Oh, that's nice. That really leaves some space now rather than just being crazy cluttered, you know? I think that's probably going to sound right. Uh, let's put our drums on it and then we'll find out. 174 is kind of the tempo I want for this. Might pitch this up an octave and just... Get that low end bump. Let's get like a basic drum pattern down for now and then we can go in and change the hi-hat if we need to you know just change the sounds maybe just get the basses down i'm not sure if i'm going to keep the piano now because it's kind of in it put the uh snap grid up so we can do some rolls Tight roll here, maybe like that.
we're going to do an arcade and we're going to wrap it up for the melodies there. Let's do an arcade. I think a vocal would be great because there's, there's so many new like vocal chops in Hook that I can just... Oh my god, bro, there's so many. They keep adding them every day, man. I'm fucking, I can't believe this shit. This fire. We'll do a delay on that as well just to kind of make it carry on a little bit longer than, than that was. We need a synth bass on this now, like a nice sort of deep synth bass. Yeah, synth bass is in, sounds great. Fantastic. Split this out by channel. Right, no, it's right. Make sure it all works, just see what it sounds like about the drums in there. Just start with that one, we? And we'll start with the for the second half of the intro. We'll do that. We'll do the synth bass, the hi hats, and the snare. Maybe we'll bring the open hat on the that bit there. So it goes. do like a sort of half speed version where it's like you know this part here to sound like that's nice. <laughs> that is still on the hi hat then Let's do like a change the piano melody I don't like it I can't really I can't really work out what to do with it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a MIDI from uh, byloops.com uh, and it's gonna be from obviously the MIDI kit uh, we're gonna use a chord progression I like that, that's nice.
But if we just do a little change here, we just do like a bit of that. That's better, that fits more. That's the best thing about MIDI is you can change it. So it's like, even if something's close but not quite right, you know, you can just fix it, so it's brilliant. Fantastic. All right, I'm happy with that. We're gonna copy that over uh, like so. Sounds nice. Now there's a few risers. Okay, so we're gonna try in a slightly different key. So we're gonna go up. All right, here we go, semitones. We're gonna go up to F sharp minor. See what that sounds like. Which I like the sound of already. All right, yeah, I like that. We're gonna change that. Uh, so we need to have it on the melodies. Alright, so that's pretty much the beat done. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new right here. If you want to see more videos like this, it's the best place for you to be. Subscribe, you never miss a video in your life. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.